Hey y'all, I'm Melissa Guerra. I am the Kitchen Wrangler and today we're making one of my very, very, very favorite recipes, tacos al pastor. Tacos al pastor are grilled pork that has been marinated and served topped with onions and cilantro. I really like mine on corn tortillas. So delicious. Oh my, <laughs> they're sitting right there. Oh, forget it. I'm just gonna have one. Mm. Oh, I love these. The savory, the sweet, the salty. Mm. I know why they're so popular, because they're so good. They're so good. Fill a saucepan halfway full with water, bring to a boil, and add one dried chile guajillo. Simmer for about five to 10 minutes. Once the chile guajillo is tender, drain the water, remove the stem, and rinse away the seeds. Place the chile in a container of a blender and add black pepper, salt, garlic, ground turmeric, apple cider vinegar, and pineapple juice. Blend the marinade until completely smooth and then pour over some thin pork cutlets. Allow to marinate for 30 to 60 minutes. While we wait, let's make some corn tortillas. Pour boiling water over instant corn tortilla mix and stir until you have a thick dough. This dough is called masa. I like to knead masa on the countertop a couple of times before I press it out into tortillas using my tortilla press. I also love using a cast iron griddle for cooking my corn tortillas. For the toppings, you'll need to chop some onions, cilantro, and some fresh pineapple. Pour a little olive oil into a skillet and brown the marinated pork cutlets for about three minutes on each side. Now don't forget, this is a home recipe version of how to make your tacos al pastor. You can choose to grill the marinated pork on your barbecue grill or broil the cutlets in your oven. I'm pan grilling the marinated cutlets on the stove today because stovetop cooking is the easiest for cooking small portions. However, just know that the sugar in the pineapple juice will char very quickly, so just keep an eye on your marinated pork if you decide to grill it in a barbecue pit. Cut the cooked pork cutlets into strips and place the cooked pork on your freshly made corn tortillas. Top with the onions, the chopped cilantro, and the chopped pineapple and garnish with lime wedges. A little lime juice on top is simply gorgeous. So here's my brief history of tacos al pastor. The term al pastor means in the style of a shepherd or a shepherd's style of cooking. So somebody that's out in the field, somebody that's out in the field, what they would do would be to start a fire. So many meats that are roasted in front of a fire are called al pastor. Here along the border, we have cabrito al pastor, which is goat that is roasted in front of a live fire. There's a very strong connection to Middle Eastern cuisine in Northern Mexico. In fact, sometimes tacos al pastor are even called tacos árabes, which means Arabic tacos. Tacos al pastor, the meat can be cooked on a vertical grill many times. In fact, we call it tacos de trompo because it looks like a child's spinning top. Doner kebabs and shawarma are both cooked on a vertical grill as well. But shawarma and doner kebab are usually beef, lamb, or chicken and never pork. So that's the big difference. So yeah, the Middle Eastern connection is so clear. Very, very clear. Thank you so much for joining me here at the ranch and thank you for letting me fix this recipe for you because it really is one of my favorites. Check out my ebook, Taco Nation, which has this recipe for tacos de trompo, like we call them here, which they're also known as tacos al pastor. Don't forget, if you have any questions about the kitchen, you can message me at help at kitchenwrangler.com or on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and here on YouTube as well. And definitely smash that subscribe button here on YouTube. I'm Melissa Guerra, I'm the Kitchen Wrangler, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here at the ranch again soon. Bye now.